Hello students, welcome to the session of Remote Sensing and GIS. So, we have till now discussed the remote sensing launching process. We have seen the uh, very essential terminologies related to remote sensing. What is the history and ages? Now, we are going to discuss about the concept of platform and the very major portion that is known as electromagnetic radiation. What do you understand by it? Let us see in detail. Right? The concept of platform, what is that? In the previous session, you have seen that platforms were different, different. What were the platform? First was the tethered balloon. Then we tried on the pigeon's breast by mounting the cameras. Then we have the Wright brothers flight they have done. And then we have the aircraft on which we are keeping the satellite is known as platforms. Right? Let's discuss that in detail, the concept of platform in remote sensing. Now see the definition, the base vehicle to carry on which remote sensors are placed to acquire information about the earth surface is called platform, right? To gain the information of the earth surface, there is a platform. So sensor on which it is kept, that is the satellite and satellite acts as a platform. And that platform is what we have various, various platforms. Satellite is carrying the sensors and when sensors are placed, it is known as platform. Right. The next thing you can see, the various types of platform we have here is the first one ground based platform. That is ground, vehicle or tower up to the height. Right. So when we take an image, we have the thing which is mounted on the ground and we are taking the image that is ground based. Next is aerial platform. It is helicopter which has a high altitude, low altitude, right? Balloons up to 50 kilometers. So this is what is known as airborne platform. On the helipad, on the helicopters, we fly the helicopters or we fly the airplanes and we mount the camera on it and that has a height up to 50 kilometers which is known as air moon and last is space moon rocket satellite shuttles from above 100 to 36,000 kilometer so these are the platforms these are the three major platforms but there are various types of platforms available that is high altitude low altitude aircraft right airspace higher uh, high, uh, high resolution low resolution according to that platforms are divided and this is what its platform help to take the data and accordingly we can bifurcate our data according to the platform when it is more than 100 to 36,000 kilometers it is space moon right and we will get according to that spatial resolution only but it is camera is mounted or sensor is mounted on the air, air, airborne platform we will be getting higher accuracy because kilometer is what up to 50 kilometers or even less or more than that how is what feature we want to identify it will be possible right now you can see here i would like to tell you three more definitions which is related to vantage point is the position from which viewer look at an object or visualize field also called viewpoint or observation point right you have to remember this it depends on at what altitude the camera is set, focal length, size, etc. So got my point here, vantage point is the observation view, observation point from where the viewer look at the object it is known as vantage point, right? So this is how sensor is the thing who is going to view the object. So basically sensor position is important at which height sensor position that point from where sensor start sensing the object is known as vantage point. Right. And where does it depends altitude and camera set is the focal length and size etc. Right. Next. You can see here, I have shown here the pictorial representation. Just look at the pictorial representation. You have the increasing degree of resolution. First is what? From the top side, you can see there is a space moon. Then comes the aircraft. Then comes the ground based. And then what? You have different, different types of platform. And you have the increasing degree of resolution. 
when you go to the space bone you will be covering the more area right but pixel resolution will vary when you do from the aircraft you will be covering less area but resolution will be more as per your requirement right data will be more clear to see and identify the feature and from the ground based you will be having the less information but very accurate information so this is all about the concept how you need to see in your uh, this module also in this portion there are numbers of other platforms are also given but these three are the very important thing and i guess you are clear with this now look at this image what i have shown here you can see the height of it what i have shown the very first you can see is the satellite remote sensing height is greater than 150 kilometers that is what space board then you can see the aerial remote sensing see to the air flight which is carrying and data collect collecting and the very new technology which has right now evolved is known as uav which is known as unnamed aerial vehicles what is that you have seen the drones which are flying in the wedding for the camera uh, for the wedding shoot right that is known as uav which is known as unnamed aerial vehicles UAV which has height even less than or about 3 kilometers only right so this is how new technologies are coming up in remote sensing and what information we required how information we require what are we dealing with it is very important right now you can see here pictorial view of satellite image capturing what is the process of capturing the image let's discuss that in detail right you can see here the sun is the main source rays are coming to the object it is coming acquired by the object rays going back to the hmm, to the sensor and sensor is sending that again to the ground information always sensor has a ground information station which we have earth station at shard number in india we have earth station at chadnagar you can see the antennas have been kept so they are with the local contact of the satellites which we have sent to the space right so electromagnetic radiations are sent to the ground to collect the information electromagnetic radiation which are emitted or reflected from the object is said remote sensor or remote sensing right electromagnetic radiations remember the word right next let's discuss in detail electromagnetic radiation what do you understand by electromagnetic radiation we have electrical field and magnetical field see how electrical and magnetic field are traveling in this way it is traveling and hence we have the different different radiations with the different different wavelength right look at this you can see blue green and red we have the visible region and we have the wavelength the frequency and we have derived and bifurcated the frequencies right look at the very last image in which i have shown the electromagnetic spectrum student remember here electromagnetic spectrum is very important to understand this whole subject when i tell vegetation in some sensor name that is in lease or irs1 you should be knowing it under which region it will fall that is the band information so this is very important to know now you all are aware of the electromagnetic radiation this is not new but you have to connect this with our subject now you can see there is a range of radio waves microwaves short waves thermal rays infrared near infrared x rays gamma rays what is x rays and gamma rays you all know that the x ray which we have the internal portion we have yes we are making the sensors according to this wavelength 
Now you got a point why EMR is important, electromagnetic radiations, because the sensors which we are making, we are making a band that if I am making this, this band should fall in this near infrared only. And that will capture the information of only trees or only vegetation. So this is known as electromagnetic radiation, right? Let's say in detail, all matter whose temperature is greater than 0 Kelvin emits what? Electromagnetic energy. This is very simple. You all know that. All chemical elements have different spectra. They absorb and reflect. Yes, all are different. Vegetation has a different. Uh, soil has a different. Water has a different. Right? If water is clear, it will emit or absorb energy accordingly. If water is turbid, it will emit or absorb energy accordingly. Reflectance will be like that. And you all know that. Red color, black color, white color, all has a different reflectance values, right? Electromagnetic energy or electromagnetic radiation is the energy propagated in the forms of advancing interaction between electrical and magnetic field. So in this way, it travels and we have the whole electromagnetic spectrum, right? So this is how EMR, I guess, you are clear with the electromagnetic spectrum and radiation. From where does it come? From the sensor and all the matter whose temperature is greater than 0 Kelvin emits what? Electromagnetic energy. Right? This term is a physics related term but you have to remember this. Basically, it propagates energy between magnetic and the electric field. Right? So, I hope you are clear with how is satellite image taken, what EMR for? EMR is what? Electromagnetic radiation. I guess now you are clear with this thing that how is EMR work? That is how is this range? What is visible range? What is near infrared? We the human being can see the range of what visible range only. We cannot see into where near infrared or x-rays or gamma rays. Right? So, this is how the range are distributed. According to that, we can do the analysis. So, how is energy propagated? We have all the information. Right? Thank you.